going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's pop some news, man. Today, we've got 59 mods and testing for FS22. We only got one mod and testing for FS19. With all those 27 mods were released today. And we've got 12 modders to talk about, including some new John Deere mods and a new video from Black Shoe Modding. Check it out. In testing for FS22 on PC, we have the ASW271, Auto Load Packs, Barrel Weight Pack, Big Bags XXL, Brazilian Silo, Russell Unlaid Bell Fork, Viable Large Stack of Bells, Viable Products, Carport, Gloss Combio Flex Pack, Combine Experience, Crosshair Mod, Diesel Barrel, Fermenting Silo, Legal Timber Runner Auto Load Wood, Green Storages Pack, Remy Ventner 4150, Increased Light Range, JCB 419S, JCB Telehandler Attachments, John Deere 1110 12 10, 15, 10G, John Deere 1270G Series, John Deere T Series and 600X headers, Crampy 30 1070, Roger Agri Liner Pack, K-Brand Discolander XM52, K-Brand Performer 4000, Lizard 1180 440, Lizard Adapter 5R, Loading Ramp with Dock Leveler, Lock Steering Axle, Massey Ferguson 1200 at 1250, oh yeah, Multimass MX, New Holland 30 Series South America, Pack Multifruit Container, Pack Stara Ninja 19,033,000, Pack of premium pallets and bales, bags, crap, rotten H21D, self-made bell fork, self-made weight, probably self-made silo facility, small grain silo, Unia 3, water pack, Belger DK115, wood harvester manual cutting, and the Zunehammer SKE185 PUD. In testing for consoles, we have the Amazon Catro 6002, brand new DD240732 XXL, Case Maxim Series, JCB Teletruck, John Deere 6300, John Deere S. 600 and S700 series, Joskin Drakkar 8600, Metal Shed, Strauman Tariff Test CFS 4201, the construction map, ooh, I wonder what that's gonna be, and Toolbox. This is a mobile toolbox from EOE John Deere. They sent this over, by the way. Hopefully, we'll be able to take a look at it very soon. Oh, yeah, and we have one mod in testing for consoles for FS19 is gonna be the adjustable drawbar pack. With all that being said, we still have 1,178 mods any waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time are newly submitted mods keeps going up. It's now 11 work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 27 new mods were released today on the Endgame Mod Hub. I've already made a video showing each of these off. You can find that video linked to the first pinned comment and at the top of the description. Over the weekend, 82 Studio teased his next mod for Farm Sim 22, and it's a brand new addition to the TLX pickup lineup. Yeah, the TLX 2022. This will be a modernized pickup that will size perfectly between the 2020 and 3500. However, we haven't actually gotten looks at the truck yet, just as some teasers and information over on his live streams. And of course, this where we get to see the front of the truck. Check those out if you haven't already, by the way. Additionally, the 2020 did fail testing over the weekend, but it has been fixed and was resubmitted as of yesterday evening. Hopefully it comes out sooner rather than later so that players can enjoy it. I will be doing a full breakdown of the mod once it drops, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. The 2021 John Deere 9RX has gotten a few more since the last time that we talked about it last week. Sid Modding has added a new European version for those of you that don't want to use the American version on Comsden or maybe other UK or EU maps. Additionally, the tractor is going to come with a separate row crop addition, meaning we're going to be getting at least two different versions of the 9RX mod in addition to the 9R, 9RT, 9RX 2021 pack from Sid Modding. This is pretty exciting. If that wasn't enough for you, JHHG Modding has a new project to announce today, the John Deere 7800, 7810 Road Crop Series for all platforms. He says that everything is done, just needs to go through internal testing, and then it's gonna be completed and sent off to Giants for testing. As you can see from these screenshots, this takes the popular 7810 that we've got in game, but adds some wheel options, different types of things. We've also got weight options, and of course, the beautiful two wheel drive version. What a few changes to give you something really fun to use around your farm. About two weeks ago, Pepe978 announced a new New Holland Holland tractor, the T4 Series for Ghetto with an open cab. And today we get to see a new screenshot showing off the mod. This has been made for all platforms and will be a really nice addition for US and EU maps both due to its versatility all around the world. The T4 is a pretty small frame tractor, so this could be the perfect farmyard tractor for you, doing little jobs or maybe small hookups, moving stuff around. Maybe you wanna throw in a tiny mower on the back. Funny enough, I would love to own one of these one day. My neighbor used to have one and he had an enclosed T4 and I loved it. Either way, I'll keep you guys updated on the mod's progress and hopefully be able to show it off to you guys very soon. That's not the only small blue tractor that we've got to talk about today because AMG Agri Modding is back with us after being quiet since the very beginning of December. 
Today, they show off their new Holland 40 series. This mod is currently with Giants awaiting testing as of over the weekend. They didn't say if it would be for all platforms or not, but most of their stuff is and was from Monster 19, so probably isn't any different. It's going to be available in different designs from New Holland and Ford, including different blues, blacks, and even a Fiat Agri red color. Got front loaders, different wheels, and more. Even duels. I love it. The only question is, which version are you going to go with when it comes out? One thing to note and to be aware of ahead of time, we don't know if the Ford version is going to come to consoles or not. We did have a New Holland mod in FS19 that was also a Ford and it was never removed. But then again, this is a different game. We're just going to have to wait and see. Here's one that we've been following since the very beginning, the Massey Ferguson 4000 series from EY Modding. Over the weekend, he was able to get color onto the tractor. It showed off three different wheel options, singles, blinds, and duels. We also get to three th see the three different exhaust options on the hood too. The mod has slowly taken shape and it's really cool to see the progress very slowly throughout. Check out EY Modding link below so you can see the progress from the very beginning up until what we've got today. So here's a question for you guys. What's one small harvester that was made for Farm Sim 17 and Farm Sim 19 and made the games perfect? You remember my favorite starting combine from FS19? If you didn't know, it's the Massey Ferguson 7347S. This was base game in Farm Sim 19, I think it's 17 as well, but we don't have it in 22 sadly. Well, it looks like Matt26 might be coming to the rescue with not only that, but a Fent version as well. Now, the Fent was actually a mod from a different modder in Farm Sim 19, so I'm not sure how that's going to work for Mod Hub, but it's great to see these back in action. Matt26 never gives away any progress or how things are going. He just shows off screenshots of like three words. Uh, pretty much everything he shares is something that he's working on. Hopefully, these are things that he's working on as well. Do you miss the smaller Massey and Fit Combines from FS1917? Let me know. If you play on PC and you would like to get hold of a proper Challenger tractor, specifically the MT500D, then you're in luck because Dennis Farms has gotten permission to bring the tractor and its ML98B front loader to match over to Farming Simulator 22 with permission from Northeast Farm Group or NEFG. Unfortunately, he doesn't say anything about I any mean, platform information, just PC. So likely this is not going to come to Mod Hub, but if you're on PC, you can actually download this tractor right now. Leave a link in the description. GG Farms Modding has submitted a super helpful mod for testing for all platforms that's going to make getting things moved around your farm a little bit easier, especially with smaller equipment. It's an attachable hitch for skid steers with a telescoping tongue on the front to reach those trailers that are on the way back of your sheds. Now, I'm not going to extend like 38 feet or anything like that, but you know, a couple feet may make the difference for you guys. It's a fairly simple mod, but it'll make doing things easy, especially if your truck's on the other side of the map or on top of your farm. Thanks, Clutch. This one's currently with Giants awaiting testing. Moving over to Mapper news, and we're going to start with Edo Mod, who officially addresses questions about Map Italia for Farm Sim 22, specifically the platform information. He goes into detail about mod hub size limits, map size, remodels from FS19 version, etc. But the basic gist and what you need to know is Map Italia will not be coming to consoles for Farm Sim 22, as it is a 4x map right now, and resizing it would take too long and basically make them create an entirely new map altogether. They don't want to upload to Mod Hub anyway for whatever reason. So with that knowledge, I will still keep you updated on the progress of this, but no, whenever we talk about it, this is not coming to Mod Hub at all. Uh, it's just going to be for PC players and third-party sites. How's about an update on Michigan Farms? You guys probably want to know about that. The creator has made some great progress over the weekend and shared these screenshots with us this morning. Work is still moving forward on the map, and they say it's going really well. This is still no ETA for the map or platform information, although we do have a little hint about it. They did say in a previous post that they did not want to remove the licensed placeables since they're what immerse players into the environment. But maybe they could do some rebranded stuff like Oxy did on Sandy Bay? Who knows? Speaking of Oxygen David, he's going to be releasing his realistic seasons colors and shaders with 4K and 8K parallax textures later today on his Discord channel. You may even have them on there right now. There's going to be instructions with each zip file to read before installing the mods on your game. This way, there's no questions. It'll be super easy for you guys. This is a feature only available for PC players as you cannot change the base game files on consoles. And if you're on PC, check out the link below and join his Discord if you're not already there. Even console players, you guys can join over there as well if you want. Log in uh, on your Xbox, maybe you're on your phone, and check it out. It's got a lot of really cool stuff. And lastly today, Black Sheep Modding have released a preview for the old stream farm for FS22. They say that the famous farm from the 70s is back with even more fun. Located in a fictional European-style countryside, 
the roads will take you down a small town. Coming soon for all platforms on the official in-game mod hub. In their video, we get to see the areas around the map, as well as the main farms, roads, and some new spots that you may have never seen before. They also say that they have adapted the cow feeding rack on the outer pasture to make it more realistic. The pasture will hold 200 head of cattle. Uh, Black Sheep finishes by saying that the tests are going really well right now. They still have all of the factories to test and the AI fixes to make sure that the map is good and ready to go for giants to test to make it as easy as possible and get it out as soon as possible. If you would like to watch the video that they released, Check out Black Sheep Mining on YouTube or click the link down below beside Old Stream Farm. And something, something, segue, something, outro, awareness for the self. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. Literally everything. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about today, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's news video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Got some really cool stuff planned for you guys. I've had a lot of modders send me stuff over, so we're going to do like a, a first look video on a bunch of stuff. I'm really excited. Hope you, decide. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Hey. Yo, I'm just so excited today. Mondays normally suck, but today, really good.